Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. We start this update outside the western entrance of the exhibition building. This 30-foot high column was exhibited by the Cheesering Granite Company, made from blocks from the Cheesering Quarry near Liscard, Cornwall. The main shaft which is from a single block was worked at the quarry, whereas the pedestal was worked in London. The jury awarded a prize medal for this column. Moving inside the building, we have added various stands on the southern side of the British nave. Here is the stand of David Birrell of Dunfermline and London. A manufacturer of damasks, his stand was praised for fine examples of table linen. Although there was criticism of a tablecloth with a bust of the Queen as its central image, as it was pointed out that this would be on the part of the table where the largest dish or central ornament would be placed. Next comes the stand of Erskine Beveridge, also of Dunfermline. Then we come to the stand of John Henning of Waringstown, Ireland. We are grateful to Waringstown Community Development Association, who helped us identify the shamrock and crown images on the face of this stand. Next is the stand of John Holden and Company of Belfast. This stand proudly proclaims they employed 5,056 persons, although the illustrated London news of 3 May 1851 exaggerates this to 8,000. Most of these would have been home workers using hand looms common practice throughout the linen industry, although by the time of the Great Exhibition the transition to the use of larger powered looms in mills was well underway. And finally for this update we come to the stand of Samuel Stevens Marling and Company of Stroud, Gloucestershire. Their Ebley Mill still stands, now used as the headquarters of Stroud District Council. In 1850 Samuel Marling had purchased an estate in Selsley, and he decided to buy the cheese ring column which we met at the start of this video, to be installed at his estate. The column remains in place to this day, approximately 300 metres north of All Saints Church in Selsley. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.